Before we get to that, we want to give you a sneak peek at the upcoming season of Public Square. It's truly a citizens forum on a host of important issues where people from communities around New Mexico get a chance to talk to heavy hitting policymakers about the choices that they've made. Hosting Public Square this year, a very familiar face to us on New Mexico in Focus, Gwyneth Dolan, there she is. Gwyneth, the conversation is certainly civil, but from what we've seen so far, nobody's pulling any punches. Let's watch. How do we know that it's such a problem? I mean, I heard, heard Gwen saying earlier that the, the remediation numbers are huge, and how, how do we know? Each one of my kids um, has um, had to take remedial courses before they've gone on to the regular um, class courses. And I think that we've been pretty darn good parents and it, it is an issue and I don't want to diminish it. I, I think that we need to look at some of the struggles that we have and to really tackle them so that we can get our kids to where we need them. You know, I graduated from West Mesa High School. Um, I was in all honors classes. I went to the University of Central Oklahoma. I did have to take, you know, 099 math. I happen to be one, and maybe I'm the, the only person in the room that feels this way, but I think we're doing a better job of educating kids today than we've ever. Public Square, give us a sense of how it's set up, what it's supposed to accomplish, who you talk to, and, and we'll get into the details of this particular conversation. Well, the beginning part of the show, we bring uh, somewhere around a dozen community members together and just ask them to talk about an issue in their lives. And one of the things that we uh, were focusing on this time is student success. How well we are doing at getting them ready to go to college and succeed or to leave high school and get a job and, and do well. And so we talked about these folks' experiences growing up, their kids, the people they meet in their jobs. We got some really personal information from them. Mm -hmm. And in having this nice long conversation, we, we really share some good stuff with the folks who make decisions about these people. But you know, it's hard. They spend a lot of time in meetings. They deal with a lot of other things. And, and I think they don't get enough time and enough opportunity to sit down and really hear these stories. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm excited about. When you have citizens in the room with policymakers to talk about these things, there's a bit of a different uh, answer wheel from policymakers, if you get my drift. You know, it's not like they're talking to the press or somebody else. Now, we saw Winston Brooks, certainly, but you talked to some other folks, too, including Hannah Scandera. We did. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we talked to Kathy Winograd from, uh, from CNM. I almost said TVI. Right. <laughs> of course, the community college. And we talked to uh, uh, Annalisa Benegas Pena from the Public Education Department, but we also talked to her boss, Hannah Scandera, and we talked a little bit about her ideas for changing things around there. You know, we uh, in the last legislative session saw her A through F grading system go through for public schools in New Mexico. She's now asking the feds to take that um, as part of No Child Left Behind, as a waiver to substitute the way we do things for some of the requirements in No Child Left Behind. Mm -hmm. I understand Senator Bingaman is uh, in the mix somewhere. What was, the, what was the conversation like there? You know, Senator Bingaman is always, he thinks of himself as the education senator. He's always been deeply involved. He's got a huge history of experience here, and it was great to get his insight on these situations. He's got some very strong ideas mm. on what we should be doing. Um, I'm not sure he agrees entirely with the uh, secretary designate Scandera, but he's got some he's got some great ideas. Mm -hmm. What about uh, No Child Left Behind? What's his thought there? Because that's a big argument in Washington right now. You mentioned the waivers from Secretary Duncan, Department of Education. We've taken advantage of that. Does he have any further thoughts about how No Child Left Behind could be reformed? You know, I think that it's a it's a big piece of law, really. It's a, there's a lot involved there, and he says they are constantly working on ways to improve it. So I think we may see some more changes to that coming through in the future. Mm, interesting. I'm most interested in the citizenry. What was your sense of the citizens? Were people coming in locked and loaded and ready to kind of mix it up? It's a very passionate issue, education. It means it's about our kids. How were the, how were the folks that came in? I, you know, I, I thought they were very brave in sharing some things that were so personal and I thought might have been difficult to share, not only with a room full of people, but with thousands of people watching on TV. Sure. They really talked about some things that were sort of painful in their experiences and how they wanted things to be better for their kids. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was touched by their bravery. Interesting. It's a tough thing to do, put them in a studio, face these people who make these decisions, but still bring their heart and their passion to it. So, we do it all the time, but they're civilians. That's right. That's right. Good for them and good for you. That's Public Square premiering next Thursday, August 25th at 7 p.m. right here on KNME.